This is Cajun country, the heart of Louisiana. Here, the French Acadians, driven from their homes in Nova Scotia, cling to their ancient customs. Now, 20 years after the American purchase of this land and 20 miles into the wilderness, it is still French, and it looks as though it will remain French forever, for Americans are looked upon with suspicion and enter Cajun country at their own peril. Careless shooting, mister. You could have spoiled a good pelt. The only pelt I would spoil, monsieur, would be yours. Drop them. Why aren't they for sale? You're not a Western company, man. No, I'm nobody's man. I'm Jim Boy from Opelousas. Howdy. Did you come to Cajun country to buy furs? Why not? It's good fur country. I do not sell to outsiders, monsieur. Not even if I pay your top prices? In gold? Save you a little trip. You won't have to go to the rendezvous. I sell only to the Western Company, monsieur. You go to rendezvous yourself, perhaps you can buy furs, but not from me. Now drop them. Howdy. Uh, my name's Jim Boy. I'd like to make you an offer on your furs. Everywhere in the Cajun country, it was the same. The trappers refused to deal with anyone but the Western Company. Why? Bowie was determined to trade in furs, so he went for an answer to the spiritual leader of these simple folk, the parish priest. You are wasting your time, Monsieur Bowie. You will have to do business with Georges Legon of the Western Company. But why? Sit down. They have a charter granted by the King of France a hundred years ago. Well, this is 1829. Louisiana isn't under the rule of any French king. It's America. That charter isn't worth a piece of paper it's written on. The Western Company claim exclusive right to all furs taken in this wilderness. Oh, it's wrong, Father. It's wrong. Trappers can sell their furs to whoever they want, to whoever gives them the best price. I have told them so. This uh, rendezvous, it's an open market? I mean, the trappers go there to sell their furs to the highest bidder, don't they? Yes. All right. I'll be at the rendezvous myself with a sack full of gold. I do not think that would be wise, monsieur. Wise or unwise, father? I'm going in the fur business. It's time the Western Company had a little competition. Yes, but... Thank you, father. Goodbye. Goodbye, my son. Come on, Jessica. Come on. folks. Well, I'm open for business. Here's my sign. These are my prices. And I'm paying gold. And a ten dollar bonus to the first one of you who sell. And I'll better any offer you can get elsewhere, prime pelts or not. What's the matter? You don't speak English? Vous avez uh, des uh, pots? Moi, j'ai beaucoup d'argent. <laughs> <laughs> 
We speak English, all right. That sign, it uh, spoils the front of the shed. Hmm? No more than a Western Company sign spoils the front of that building. The Western Company sign is permanent. You better take yours down. Well, I thought I'd keep it up here till the rendezvous ends. For you, it's ended now. Take it down. Well, I don't think my family would like that. Family? I don't see any family. Well, here's my brother, and here's my uncle. They say the sign stays. And they're both faster than you and your pistol. No one sells him anything. Huh? No one! Good price, daughter, but not good enough. It will do no harm to talk. Oh, Monsieur Bowie? Howdy, miss. You have permission from Monsieur Legrand to trade here? I don't know, Monsieur Legrand. If you stay here, you will. A good price, I am sorry, we cannot sell to you. Oh, these are the best bunch of pelts I've seen yet. Mm. Uh, for you, I'll uh, raise my price a dollar. Perhaps no one has told you, you cannot buy furs from the Cajuns. A hundred minks is seven hundred dollars. Your daughter has a good head for figures, sir. We have authors on muskets, too. Uh, name your price, I'll buy the lot. You'll buy nothing, monsieur. Drive on, Jean, please. But, Father, we could pay off our debt. My money's good, I assure you. Keep your money. It is no good to us. Très bon, Jean. Legard will not like it if he sees us talking to this man. I'm not worried what Legard likes or dislikes, sir. I'm sorry, monsieur. Mug of ale, please. How about a little company, Father? Please. Thank you. Who are they? Paul Bresseur and his daughter, Jeanne. She is a better trapper than he is. Come, Jeanne. We must go to the blacksmith. Go on, Father. I will join you. She spoke about a debt to her father. What she mean by that? The trappers, they are all in debt to Lagon. He owns the store. Uh, the furs never quite get them even. Ah, bonjour, father. Lagon, take care. And whose soul are you trying to save now? The saving of souls, Monsieur Lagon, is in the hands of heaven. Should you ever come to my church, we could discuss it. You want to grapple with the devil, eh? Huh? First this way and then that. Tearing down your sign was much easier. Give him back his sign, Brizac. Voila. It is only because you're a stranger I excuse your ignorance. Put the sign on your mule and go. Well, Mr. Legon, you tear down signs, you break chairs. What else do you do? Cheat these frightened people? Do not try my patience, monsieur. When will your patience be tried? When my back turned? Your back is not turned now. Have a drink. Drop it! 
Go on. Now, Legon, you tore down my sign. You're going to put it back again. Go on, pick it up. This sign will be part of your coffin, boy. Come on. Go on, move. You too. Hurry up. Dan, give it to me. I do not approve of violence. There need be none. If all of us would stand against Legon, perhaps this American could help us. It is an easy thing to say, my child. But when he is gone, who will protect my wife and children? You, Henri? When my house is on fire, where will you be? And you, Louis? Stand together. How can we? The gun can crush us one by one. I'm afraid he's right, Jean. They are cowards. One strong man does what all of you cannot do. I'm going to sell him out first. <laughs> Father Michel tells me that uh, you're a better trapper than your papa. Well, I have a better reason to be. Yeah? I want to live in New Orleans. Do you think I like these clothes? I want silk and lace. I want to wear furs, not trap. <laughs> you want to trap a husband, huh? Yes. An American husband? Why not? I have sold to Monsieur Bowie. But you cannot put those pelts back on the wagon. If your daughter says so. Jean, tell him you have made a mistake. You do not wish to sell. I do want to sell. I have sold. Fifty dollars Spanish gold slugs. Thirty of them. Oh, look, Father. We pay Le Grand what we owe. And we have enough till next rendezvous. No more debts. We're free. No more debts. One more season like this. Then I go trapping in New Orleans. That's my prediction. You'll catch very big game, mademoiselle. Yes, mademoiselle. <laughs> 